Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a combined portrait of Mr. Chadwick Boseman and his character The Black Panther. Being an MCU fan myself, I really wanted to do a tribute drawing of him and his Marvel character after his death. But it took so much time to finalize and publish this one. So anyways, grab your tools and let's get started. So I'm going to use these Derwent's graphic pencils for this drawing, but you can use any other graphite pencils that you have. Just grab these four pencils, B, 2B, 4B or 5B and 9B and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm already done with the outlines here and I use grid method to draw these outlines. Showing the complete outlining process in a video makes it unnecessarily long. So I always upload the references on my Patreon profile. You can find the links of all the references in the description down below. So first of all, I'm going to use this 2B pencil and darken these light outlines because they will fade away in the shading process if we don't darken them first. Then I'm going to use the same 2B pencil and fill this area with a base layer of shade. Make sure to fill the area thoroughly and then use a dry brush afterwards to blend this base layer. By the way, the complete real-time video of this tutorial is available on my Patreon profile. Link is in the description. So after blending the base layer, grab your 5P pencil and fill this area with a darker shade. The only difference is that the upper portion has less darker shade than the lower portion. I'm also going to darken these remaining outlines and repeat the same layering process for this lower portion. And by the way, if you are a beginner and have no idea how to even start a drawing on your own, I would say you to take my drawing course first because it is specially designed to help beginners like you to get comfortable with the drawing process so they can execute a drawing project of any difficulty level on their own. After 2000 enrollments, I added my course in Udemy sales program and now it will always be on sale for up to 70% off for new students. So make sure you avail this opportunity and get your sketching skills polished. Okay, now after blending this 5B layer, grab your 9B pencil and add this third darkest layer. And make sure you add these dark texture lines as well before proceeding with the darker layer. This left portion of the costume is darker than the upper and middle portion, so keep that in mind while shading this area. You can also add this texture in the forehead area if you want more details. It's totally up to you. The texture here is pretty simple. Just add these rectangular boxes using these diagonal kind of lines and then fill the insides with smaller rectangles and that's it. This eyebrow area and upper portion of the head is lighter than the remaining portion so keep that in mind. You can also fill this lower mouth and chin portion with this dotted kind of texture if you want. And this jawline portion is pitch black. You can also use this 9B pencil with minimum pressure to lightly shade these white metallic strips on the costume. Or you can also use a lighter grade pencil if you want. You can also use a dry brush for blending these lighter portions, but don't use it on the darker ones. And in the end, you can use a mono zero eraser to add the highlights in these white metallic strips. You can cut the eraser to a chisel tip point to add these sharp parallel lines in this left portion. And we are done with this helmet portion. Now for this shoulder and neck portion, I'm going to repeat the same shading process like I did for the upper portion. But make sure you darken these lighter outlines before adding the darker shades. For this necklace portion, you just have to fill it with a darker grade pencil first and then use a mono zero eraser to add the highlights and shines. The neck portion is pitch black but you can add a little bit texture with the mono zero eraser if you want. And this area between neck and necklace has this special kind of texture which you can add using the same 9B pencil. Add these two light parallel shaded lines first and then segment them into these dark spots. And in the end use the mono zero eraser to add these highlights in between them, especially in the left side. The technique of adding this texture I've showed in the right side can also be used in the left portion. But I prefer to fill it with a plain shade because it's a little bit complicated for beginners. You can also shade the right portion with a plain shade if you want. It's totally up to you. And we are done with this left costume part. 
Moving on to the right portrait portion. And first of all, I'm going to share the hair portion, which is really simple than any other hair drawing I did on this channel. You just have to fill it with the base layer first and then use a darker grade pencil like 5P to add the second layer. The only difference here is that you have to add the second layer in a circular scribbling motion. And use the same circular motion for this third 9B layer as well. It will automatically give you this curly hair texture. You can also increase the pressure on the pencil and darken some of the portions in between. And also add these circular scribble and marks around the outline of the hair. And in the end, you can use a mono zero eraser to add these light circular highlights in between, which will give you a complete and proper curly hair texture. Moving on to this forehead portion and the overall layering process is same. The only difference is that you have to leave this right portion while adding the 5P shade. And after blending the 5P, use a 2B pencil to fill this portion with these light dots and scribbles. And then use a chisel tip mono zero eraser to add these small white dots in between. And you can also adjust the sharpness of these white dots using a dry brush. And for the eyebrows, I'm gonna fill it with a plain 5B shade first. And then I will darken it using a 9B later. Okay, moving on to the eye portion. And after adding and blending the base layers, use a 5B pencil to darken the outlines of the eye. And also fill the iris portion along with the upper and lower lid with the same 5B shade. Just like this. And blend it using a dry brush. Now darken the same 5B shaded portions with the 9B shade. And then add the final highlights using the mono zero eraser. I'm also using this electric eraser for extra white highlights. But you can use a white jelly roll pen for these if you want. It will work the same. Okay, now moving on to this nose portion and after adding and blending the base layer with a 2B pencil, I'm going to use the 5B pencil to fill this nostril with a darker shade and filling the surrounding portion with a slightly less darker shade, just like this. And also fill the cheek portion with the same darker shade and blend it with a dry brush. You can also use a B or 2B pencil on this 5P shade to make it look even more smoother. Now use this 9B pencil and darken the nostrils along with the right shadowed portion. And then use a mono zero eraser to add these light highlights on the nose. The cheek portion has the similar texture like I did for the forehead. But the only difference here is that I've added the white dot first and then the darker ones. And this time I used a B pencil to add these texture dots. You can also use the similar approach for the forehead texture because I think this works better than the previous technique. Anyways, moving on to the ear and all you have to do is fill it with the base layer first and then use a 5P pencil to darken these shadowed portions in between to make a proper ear shape. And make sure to blend all these layers in each step with a dry brush. Then use a mono zero eraser to add the final highlights in between. And that's it. Now moving on to the mouth and lips portion and after adding and blending the base layer with a 2B pencil, use a 5B pencil to fill the upper lip with a darker shade first. And then use a mono zero eraser to add a little bit of highlights in between. Now use the same 5B pencil and draw the moustache using the circular scribbling technique which we used for the hair and slightly blend it with a dry brush to merge it with the surrounding area just like this and also fill this right portion with the same scribbling technique for beard hair the only difference here is that the upper portion has smaller and lighter scribbles while the lower portion is darker and also shade this lower lip before filling the chin portion with beard hair you can also add the dog shade in between the circular scribbles especially in the lower portion of the beard to make a perfect gradient and you can also use the mono zero eraser in between to add the required highlights okay now moving on to the sweater portion and first of all i'm gonna darken these parallel kind of lines in the neck portion using a 5p pencil and then fill the area with the base shade using the same 5p pencil 
Now use a 9B pencil to add the second darkest layer by also darkening these parallel texture lines. Notice the shade is darker in the left portion and lighter on the right one, so shade accordingly. Now after blending this darker layer, use a mono zero eraser to add the highlights along these parallel lines, especially in the upper and right portion. And for this right portion of the sweater, just fill it with a base layer first and then use a 5P to add random scribbles and marks, and then blend it afterwards. Then use a mono zero eraser to add the same white marks and scribbles in between the dark ones, just like this. And with this last step, we are done with this combined hyper-realistic drawing of Black Panther and Chadwick Boseman. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this one. If you wanna get the real-time video of this drawing, you can visit my Patreon profile. And if you are a beginner and want to learn sketching from scratch, you can join my course on Udemy. All the links are in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.